What's going on guys and girls? Coach Luca here. And um, you know, before I talk about what this video is about, let me tell you about a lesson in perseverance. Two days and I had to go replace the camera, the cords, everything. And yet I felt like that this video just needed to be shot. Alright, so got a new camera, shooting it today on a Sunday while everybody's out there in the sun on, on Seafair weekend. But here's the deal. Alright? When I shoot these videos, I you know it's it's not it's not a rant. It's I really don't want to just go like, hey, I read this book, and yeah, here's some great advice. I, I like it to be things that you know we experience from training hundreds of clients uh, on a weekly basis and coaching tens and tens of different fitness business um, clients uh, on growing their businesses. And you know what I wanted to talk about was environments, and because because I've had so many examples just this week of how environments can change your like world pretty much right so environment is everything that comes in all the sensory data think about it. everything you see everything you hear everything you touch uh even taste and smell but i'll you know i'll keep i'll leave taste and smell out of it uh, a little bit but i will focus on sight sound and touch right so every single day where um you know whether you go to work right you're bombarded with information. It's like, you know, cooler talk or you're, you know, everybody around you is talking about the reality TV show or everything that's wrong in their life, you know, all their problems, so on and so forth. And notice that like most of it is just negative, right? You turn on the news, it's negative. Everything that's going wrong, right? And here's the thing, right? You, you think about this. You, in a 24-hour day beyond sleep, what is this data that's coming into your brain what is the environment that you live in, right? So the environment that you live in, what is the, if, if you're constantly hearing crappy stuff, you're not, you know, you're, you're reading tabloids, you're never reading any books that inspire, motivate you, give you information to move you from point A to point B, like that's what your programs become. Like it, it, it pretty much is who you essentially are, right? And I'll take you to the story of, you know, when I, when I, was, when I was younger, I was a, a, a knucklehead and, you know, I don't know if, any people know or not but you know some things that I'm not necessarily proud of but I was involved in, in, in crime and you know not that it wasn't anybody else's fault right we make the choices that we make but the things that pushed me or should I say moved me down that road was the environment I was in around the people that made me believe that you know that was good and that that you know that it, it was smart to do that or my life will be better for that right he starts you start creating this environment in your head and, and a story to go along with it and you know, and thankfully, I mean, I was very close and in some situations that were not <laughs> far from great. But you know, I also had another environment that was very positive for me. My coaches, basketball, you know, and and they put seeds of doubt in my mind that what I was doing may not be the smartest way to go. And and then I started, you know, being in the positive environment more that led me down a different path. And the thing is, is like, it's the same for everyone else, right? This week, I've talked to a couple of people that are f like facing some pretty great obstacles in life, right? Yet one person kind of like focuses constantly on why me? Why is this happening to me? You know, this person is doing it to me. It's not, uh, you know, it's always happening to them, right? Everything is bad. Everything is negative. Everything we focus on is, is that route where, where the other person even though it's the, the problem is just as big, they see it as a, as a challenge. It's, it's definitely not great, they don't feel good about it, but they have a positive outlook of like, what's the opportunity here? What am I gonna learn from this, right? Which door is gonna open for me that's gonna be even better than what I've had going on? So you have two similar situations and two completely different outcomes and perspectives and all of it is really influenced by the environments throughout a period of time. And, you know, the thing is, is like when, when I started Vigor Ground, it, you know, thinking about how, you know, you're training, oh, it's top notch, the periodization is great, you know, your nutrition, so on and so forth. But it's so far beyond that because I always wanted it to be an environment that on every single level, it, it, it shows, you know, people possibilities and makes them believe in the things that they want to achieve beyond just training and health and fitness, everything, right? So when you come here, the things that you hear are positive, not just from the coaches, but from other members, right? They're, they're pursuing like a better life in all areas. You have, um, you know, and, and there's touch and sight and sound and everything. We give people books, we inspire them, we write blog posts, we're constantly shooting videos 
to make things better. And the thing is, you know, and, and I'll say it to people, hey, you know what, you're watching four and a half hours of TV, cut it down to two and a half. You know, play with your kids an extra hour and read for an extra hour. Do something for yourself. That becomes your environment, right? And, and the thing is, I challenge you. I challenge you to become aware. I challenge you to stop and see what your day is made up of. What type of environments is it made up of? The negativity at work, or is it positive? How can you maybe go associate with some other people that are, that are challenging themselves to take it to another level? What's, where do you train? Who do you surround yourself with? What, who are your friends? Right? And I'm not saying like, hey, just you know, change your friends. I'm saying become aware of what's going on around you because truly the environments can change your life. So if you change an environment, it can be the first step to changing your life and changing where you are to where you want to be. Right? One of the reasons why for the last decade I've been, you know, I've had coaches, mentors, go to seminars, go to masterminds, workshops, and, and a lot of times it's not even just, it's not for the information, that's secondary. Right? It's to be in the environment of people that literally talk about possibilities. And if there are problems, they talk about how they can, they can be changed versus like why there are these problems and why is it happening to me. And, and remember, you go in the direction of your focus. Right? It's going to take you one route or another. And so I, like, basically, you know, <laughs> I really, really, really challenge you to, to just stop and think, you know, the 24 hours a day, when you're not sleeping, what is your environment made out of, like in a week? And, and know that once you change it, you start changing it, you will change. Things for you will start changing. All right? So that's the lesson of the day, the lesson of the week, whatever it may be. Persevere if things go wrong, just like they did with this video. Don't stop and just come back and get it done. And now that information is out there. Coach Luca, and I'll talk to you guys soon.